Good morning. It's Wednesday. It's the top of the curve. It's hump day. It's hump day. Hey, everybody. It's Wednesday. How's everybody doing? Y'all, I do want to get into vlogging more. So if y'all have any suggestions on how to do it, some videos I could watch. And it's, I'm going to be really honest. I make a little money. It's not much. But it's just a good way to connect with people because since the pandemic, I've really been, I was already an introvert, introvert but since the pandemic, I've really, really, I'm telling y'all, I literally go to work, back home, to the grocery store if need be or whatever, and to church. That's basically all I'm doing right now. I haven't been to the movies since 2020 before the pandemic. Um, I really just started going back into the store shopping. I, I really haven't been doing my shopping. But y'all, this dress I got on, it, it looked a little, kind of like maybe a little old-fashioned. But it, I'm kind of old-fashioned. Let's just keep it real. Man, I am what I am. I don't have to change I, to be accepted by people. That's one thing. That's one thing we need to tell our kids. God made you just how he wanted you. And I, however he made you, the people who are supposed to be in your life are going to accept you for who God made you. Because check this out. When you start becoming a facade, not being the person that you really are, the people you're going to attract, they really attract it to the real you. Think about that. Yeah. I want to attract people who like me for who I am, not who I portray. And I don't think there's nothing wrong for that. with that, you know. If you're looking for a beauty channel, someone that shop high-end fashion design, that's that's not where I am. You understand what I'm saying? That's just not who I am. I'm just a ordinary woman trying to make extraordinary difference in the world. <laughs> Honestly. Yeah, I'm trying to motivate people and let people know that, hey, God made you. So be proud of who he made you to be. Because if you're not proud of who you are, then that means that you're not being, you're not, you're not feeling blessed by God to be who he made you. Does that make sense? Am I making any sense? This sun, man, in some areas you see me good, in other areas I look like a, I don't know what. Sometimes I get, I have a combination skin, so around my nose gets very, very oily. So all day I'm, I need to give me some press, some powder. Or something to because uh, I'm sometimes in the day I really really get greasy, but anyway, it is what it is. I am who I am, and I'm just not gonna be perpetrating out here, <laughs> you know. I, I, I'm i in an area where it's not a lot, well, there's things going on, but a lot of things that go on, I don't really participate in pretty much. I'm one of those type people that uh, I, I I can't pretend no matter where I am. You know how some people could mingle with people that they really don't like. I don't. I don't. That's not me. Cause I can't be myself if I'm acting like. And I don't hate anybody. Don't get me wrong. But certain behaviors and things I don't like. And I and I offer my opinion and things I would say. Well, you, you maybe you should do this or do that. But everybody don't, is not open to other people's opinions. Some people really don't care. Not realizing that God put your, put other people in your life to make you better. But you're so headstrong and you're such a know-it-all, you won't listen to anybody. Well, you know old folks say a hard head make a soft behind every day of the week. <laughs> I, my niece told her, so, so she has, my niece got three boys. And the boys, one of them bigger than her. She told me, y'all don't think fat me greasy. <laughs> I'm like, what? But anyway, yeah. God is good. Listen, it's a lot of people suffering. It's a lot of people. But I'll tell y'all something about this inflation with the high gas and the high grocery. And I even did a video, y'all. I went in the store and 18 eggs was $5 or something. I was like, oh my goodness. And I didn't get them. I didn't. I ain't gonna lie. And I thought about it. I said, hey, I still need the eggs. You know what I'm saying? But I did go to another store and they were three something and I did get them. But I don't even use eggs that much. In fact, the last uh, eggs I had, I had about three or four. I had to throw away because they had frozen. So, yeah. But um, what I want to say is, though, we're in a, we're, I mean, prices are high, gas is high. But we got to realize who's in control. God is in control. We got to give everything to him. And I always say this and I always will. What is our lesson? When God puts us through things, think about the lessons, the, the, uh, the, um, 
in biblical times when people went through something there was a lesson that God had for them to learn and and in any situation I go through I'm asking Lord what are you trying to teach me what am I supposed to gain from this and I always think about that and then you know what sometimes you don't realize what that is and then later on it comes to you it does so I, I, I I've learned you know like I've had situations where I could have gotten mad I could have blown up but I thought about it God is trying to teach you something he's trying to show you something but are you listening are you willing to accept it because so many people you want to be the author and the finisher on your of your own faith and that's just not how it is God made you he know everything about you so you know it, it life gets hard because you know you we living in a lot of uncertainties you know and that's one thing I was talking about I did a little short the other day about people in the great resignation and you know what the great resignation is during COVID after COVID a lot of people uh left their jobs and you know what most of those people said it was the culture people realized that I may not live to see another day and I'm not going to live it in confusion and being mistreated and disrespected and that's why people walk they bounced hey, Rochelle, so I'm you. good morning let me have a large unsweet tea with peach flavoring extra ice please that'll be all thank you okay Yeah, people realize, hey, I don't have to be, I don't have to stay in a situation where I'm mistreated. From today to tomorrow, I may not even live to see the next day. And I'm just not going to be put in a situation where I'm going to be disrespected. People left. And the majority of those people, when they surveyed, that's what they said. They wanted to be treated with respect, with dignity. They wanted to work in a situation, in a culture where people were loving and kind and respectful. And we had a meeting, and I we were, uh, I, I told him I said, and 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 it's it's something that I I got from um a real successful businessman. He said you treat your people like they make a difference, and they will, and that's so true. I remember we had this survey, and the survey said, um, hold on one second, y'all. Good morning. I'm sorry y'all but he he um what were we just talking about <laughs> uh, i don't know but anyway i i just be coming on because i and, and i've always been the person that go for the underdog you know what i'm saying i don't think nobody's an underdog but i'm, I'm talking about, about people that are often overlooked uh mistreated they didn't come from the right side of the uh, uh, of the, of the tracks, or they didn't go to the best schools. They didn't have the best clothes or the best cars because all oh, that is irrelevant. What kind of heart does that person have? I keep trying to stress that, especially to our young, because young kids are impressionable, and so they always want to hang. Most of them want to hang with the in crowd, the ones that's popular. Uh, the ones that are the big sports players, and, and trust me, there is nothing wrong for that. With that, I want everybody to succeed. You know, I'm not the jealous type, uh, I, but I, 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 I don't want, I don't like when a person tries to downplay another person's success or accomplishments or who they are, just as an everyday normal person, to make themselves look good. Hey, we all make mistakes. None of us perfect. The only one perfect is Jesus. The only perfect one. We all make mistakes and we fail daily. We sin daily. Seen, seen, seen and unseen. We do it. Yes, we do. We're human. It's our flesh. But Jesus paid it off, didn't he? Woo, Lord Jesus. Mm -mm. Whoo. 
ooh, all I know is, y'all, all I want to do here is be somewhere you can come where you down, you feeling bad about yourself, uh, cause I've been there. I feel like I was a disappointment to myself and and, and my parents. You know, like I told y'all, I had a child in high school. I don't know why I got a tear coming down my eye. Darn. It may be this. <laughs> it may be this. Uh, uh, what you call it? Eyeliner. You know, because I had a child in high school. And I, I was smart. I always was smart in school. Not a brag, thank God. It was a blessing that I had. You know, and, and I didn't think that what I knew was too, not, uh, was too good to share with others. You know, I, just, again, just like here. I, I don't have anything that I'm like, if I cook a recipe, I tell y'all everything I put in there. Let me tell you something. We could cook the same meal, use all the same ingredients, and the taste ain't the same. You understand? <laughs> it just I, I don't know. It's just life. A lady told me we were at church. We had a, um, it was our church anniversary. And so they always come looking for our table because uh, my birthday in August. And so one of my, when we do the, when we do our church dinners, what happens is it, 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 the birth months get together. Like everybody January all through December. So the people in your group, you know, born in your birth month. But we all get together and we decide who's going to cook what. And so the object is for your table to have everything that, like, if say for instance, if, if nobody else bought anything, what we have on our table would be enough to feed us a, a complete meal. So we'd have the drinks, the utensils, uh, the paper products, uh, the meat. Uh, the sides and the dessert, bread, everything, you know. So if you didn't want to leave, you can just come to one table and get a whole, uh, a whole to go play. Yeah.